Okay, we are live. Yes, welcome everybody to the stream. If you are tuning out live or after the game, my name is Matthew, and today we are here doing the live play-by-play -play and reaction live stream for TCU versus Georgia, the national championship of college football. And for the first time in history, I am live streaming a championship game and one of the teams in there is my team. I'm hoping TCU can win today, but if you watched my predictions video earlier, I have a bad feeling Georgia's gonna win. But I think we're gonna have a very good game and hopefully TCU can come out on top, but it's gonna be a fun live stream. Make sure you all leave a like and make sure you guys subscribe. Okay, so for anyone just now joining the stream, as I've said, make sure you guys leave a like, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Guys, I'm kind of nervous. This is the first time I've ever been nervous for a game. Seems like. But I, as I said, I've never really had a team in a championship game. Last time I had any type of team in a championship game was the St. Louis Cardinals, and that was 10 years ago.
So if you all are just now joining right now, we have around 30 minutes till game time. I wanted to start the stream decently early. George is coming out onto the field right now. But as you guys begin to join the stream, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you to everyone that is leaving a like on the stream. So, um, welcome everybody who's just now tuning in. Right now I was actually about to um, create a poll for the stream. Okay, so I just made a poll, so if you guys want to go vote who you think is going to win... Make sure to go do that. Um, I'm hoping TCU can pull off the upset. I don't think it's likely, but I'm... Cheering them on. I guess I gotta have hope. But also, though, it seems like whenever like I don't have hope in my teams, they end up winning. So you know what? I have no hope at all. We are gonna lose. Honestly, though, I really do think... I think TC is going to keep it close. I think it's going to be a close game for most of the game, and then George is going to pull away in the fourth quarter is how I'm going to...
As I said, though, if you guys are just now joining, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you guys want to comment in the chat, uh, just talking about the game, make sure to do so. Um, as I've said, I've given my prediction, and we are up to five likes on the stream, so thank you all a ton. Someone just voted for TCU in the poll. Thank you very much to whoever you are. Make sure, though, to also comment in the chat um, what is your score prediction for the game. If I were to make a score prediction, I'm going to say... I'm going to say... Um, 35 to 24, Georgia. That's going to be mine. Obviously, Georgia is looking for their second straight national championship, an undefeated season this year. TCU is trying to cap off what has been a Cinderella season with one of the biggest upsets and shocking games in a very long time. Okay, we just had someone vote for Georgia in the poll. We are down to 25 minutes till kickoff, guys. There's a lot of live streams of ESPN preview of the game going on right now, which is what I'm actually watching live. I'm sure, though, when the actual game starts, all those streams are going to either turn off or they are going to be deleted. But we will have the full play-by-play -play I wish, though, TCU would have wore purple. Because everybody was hyping up, wear purple, wear purple. And then they didn't even wear purple. Which I, I'm sure they weren't allowed to wear, like, purple, like, tops because George is the home team. They should have at least wore purple pants and a purple helmet. What am I saying now? Maybe I'm just upset because I'm wearing purple and they're not. So for everyone still just now joining the stream, make sure you guys um, leave a like, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, we're on the road to 8.3k, and also make sure you guys vote in the poll.
Okay, we're down to 20 minutes till game time. So we are getting close to the start of the game. If you all are just now joining, make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, so 19 minutes. George is wearing their red home uniforms. TC wearing uh, the away uniforms. So both teams now going to the locker room because we're now 17 minutes away from the start of the game. We just said someone vote TCU in the poll.
So, anyone just now joining the stream, make sure you guys leave a like and hit the subscribe button. As right now, we are around 15 minutes or so away from the start of the game. Both teams right now are in the locker room. And... Okay, so we just had someone vote for the for Georgia in the poll. Oh my gosh, I do remember you. Wow, it's been a long time. And that's not good for you to say go dogs. If you don't know, I'm a TCU fan and this is the first time in like a very long time that any of my favorite teams in any sport have been in a championship. The Vikings have never been in a championship in my lifetime. The Pacers have never been in a championship in my lifetime. TCU's never been in a championship in my lifetime. Cardinals, it's been 10 years. But TCU, though, today changes that. And even though I think George is going to win, I hope somehow we pull off an upset. But I hope it's a good game. I wish some TCU would beat them, but I, I don't even think it's going to happen. Georgia just, just seems too good. It would take it would take a lot. But we only have ten minutes, or nine minutes, till the start of the game. One thing that hurts these national championship live streams is they are not as like huge on like, oh my gosh, if someone's streaming the game, we got to get it down now. But for all you guys just now joining the stream, make sure you guys leave a like and make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Somewhat, wait, they're doing their predictions and someone actually went with TCU. Wow. Okay, Dez went with TCU, David went with Georgia. But we are getting very close to game time, by the way, for anybody watching. If you guys haven't already, make sure to vote in the poll. Make sure you guys subscribe. I think TCU is going to have to force some turnovers. 
I think Georgia's going to have to make at least one or two mistakes that they didn't make in really any games in a long time. But, I don't know. TCU's going to have to score a ton. I, I don't think no matter what what Georgia does, if they're going to score quite a bit. TCU is going to have to score 40 to have even a chance, I think, at win this game. Right now we have Okay, what's that guy's name? The older guy that's always on College Football Live. He literally just picked TCU. I wish the game was close. I wish the game was like in Indy or something. If it was in Indy, I would have gone. But LA is way too far to go. Georgia had the third smallest odds to make the college football title game and TCU had it in I I don't even remember what it said, but I know it was high. Right now they have the bands on the field and it and we are about five minutes away from game time everybody. We are getting close. So, um, we, as I just said, for anyone joining, we are about four minutes or so away from game time. If you guys haven't already, make sure to go vote in the poll who's going to win the game.
Okay, now they just got commercials going on. Uh, once we get out of the commercial break, though, we should have uh, the teams uh, running out of the locker room. I am so nervous. I mean... This is the first time I'm live streaming one of my teams at a championship game. This is the first time one of my teams is in a championship game in a very long time. So guys, everyone continue to vote in the poll. We are just minutes away from game time. If you guys haven't already, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Now they're showing Ohio State's missed kick. And we just had someone vote for Georgia in the polls, so we're now... We're now even in the poll. So nervous right now. This would the game start already.
So for anyone just now joining the stream, welcome. So if you guys are just now joining the stream, make sure you all leave a like and make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. We are still waiting for the start of the game. We are just moments away. So for anyone who is just now joining the stream, we are moments away from the start of the game. Once we do start, I will be giving you guys the full play-by-play -play and reaction. Make sure that you, know, that you guys leave a like on the stream and make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. I'm hoping my TCU can pull it off even though I don't think they will. Hopefully they can. But make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. We are trying to hit 8.3K. So if we can hit it right now, that would mean a lot. Thank you to whoever just left a like on the stream, by the way. Georgia is 13 and a half point favorites in this game. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I'm hoping TCU can get the win. I don't think so. I think they're going to keep it close for the most of the game, and then Georgia will pull away a little bit late. I'm going to say Georgia wins 35-24 is my prediction. I hope I'm wrong, but we'll see. We'll see. Right now, by the way, for anyone wondering, they are doing the national anthem.
And we're having a lot of people join the stream. As I said, if you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe. I know there's a lot of people that are streaming the actual game that are going to get taken down in a little bit, so I'm sure we'll have some people join as the game is getting ready to start. Make sure to comment what your score predictions are for the game and all that fun stuff. If you have any um, questions on what's going on in the game, like um, is it getting ready to start, uh, whatever, blah, 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 make sure to do so. Right now we have 25 people on, and if you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe as we're trying to get to 8.3K. Okay, here we go. The, both teams are about to run out onto the field, and someone actually just subscribed to the channel, so thank you to um, uh, whoever that is, and thank you for joining the stream. And Georgia is running out onto the field right now. They didn't show TCU running out onto the field, but you'd think TCU would run out before Georgia, but maybe not. Okay, TCU has not ran out onto the field. They are getting ready to. And TCU is now running out onto the field. And thank you to whoever just left a like. Uh, yes, I am going to be doing the KSI versus Face Temper stream. Both teams are now out onto the field. Okay, captains are now walking out onto the field for both teams. So Matthew Stafford walked out for Georgia or with Georgia. Damian Tomlinson walked out for TCU. And we are about to have the coin flip. Coin toss is complete, and it's time.
Okay, and we are about to kick off TCU will start with the ball and for the first time in 10 years I'm about to watch one of my teams play in a championship game and just like 10 years ago probably lose that game but here we go we are underway kickoff and it is going to be kicked into the end zone for a touchback so TCU led by Max Duggan We'll start with the ball. Okay, you guys know when I put TCU 25, that means 25 yard line, correct? I hope so, but I'm leaving it at that. If people don't like it, then tell me. And the first play, we have a flag. It looks like it's going to be a false start on TCU. Great way to start. Yep, so false start on TCU to start the game. If you all are just now joining the stream, if I can get all you guys to hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 8.3K, and we are only two subs away. Right now we have 30 people watching and it says 27 of you guys are not subscribed. So first and 15 now from the TCU 20. Duggan is going to be back to throw. He's now going to scramble, rush outside. Oh, and he had a man open. He threw about 20 yards to the right, but just overthrew him. That honestly could have been a possible touchdown. But Duggan overthrew him and... That will bring up second and 15. Everyone, make sure you all are hitting the subscribe button. Wait, Miller is out tonight? Well, I didn't know that. Oh my god. Great. Okay, so second and 15. It's going to be a screenplay to Johnston, and he is going to get around four yards, and that will bring up third down and 11 here for TCU. For everybody watching the stream, as I said, if you guys could subscribe, it really would mean a lot. You guys will really enjoy the channel. We got like six videos coming out just this week alone. Also, make sure you guys leave a like on the stream. So third down and 11 coming up here for the Horn Frogs. So here we go, out of the shotgun. Duggan's going to step back. He's going to throw to the right, and the pass is just short. Hit the ground, and TCU is going to have to punt. The pass was right at the first down marker. Would have been a first down if it was caught, but the pass was a little underthrown, just a tad, and I actually he probably should have caught that. And TCU is going to have to punt, and I forgot to change the game time. That's great. My mistake, guys. I may not keep up with the game time uh, the greatest, but I'll try my best. And TCU is going to punt it away to Georgia. Kind of a short punt. Fair catch called. And Georgia is going to start at their own 43-yard line. And that will send us to a commercial break. As TCU goes three and out. And Georgia will get the ball now here in the national championship. Okay, this is driving me crazy just because I feel like someone's going to complain about it eventually. Oh my god, they didn't even go to a commercial break. And now we have a ton of flags on Georgia's first play. And I think that's a false start on Georgia. So both teams start with a false start on their very first play. They will be on the 38. And 
Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna have a run on the uh, play, and it's gonna go for around six yards. That will bring up second and nine there for Georgia. Whoa, 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 what's going on? I'm just trying to get this all typed out. My mistake, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so Benson, Benson, back to throw. He throws a route around 20 yards, and it is complete, and that will be a first down. There's no way I'm going to be able to keep up with this. Trying to see how to word this. Okay, so quarter one. What are they at? TCU 38 yard line now. There we go. That's how it's going to be. So there's a flag on the play. This is going to be a screen play to the running back, and it's he's going to be forced out of bounds after around six yards. Oh, God, I don't like that either. So we're going to go back to how we had it before. So the penalty was on Georgia. Negated that play that went for around seven yards. Benson's going to dump it off. Uh, to the tight end there, and he is going to be forced out of bounds after around seven yards. So that is going to bring up second down and three. So it was around eight yards on the play because it was first and 11 because of the penalty. The run outside, he's going to break one tackle and then get wrapped up for around five yards. And that will be a first down for Georgia. Now here's the thing, obviously I'm rooting for TCU in this game. I'm not going to be biased on any commentating. I may have some reactions if something happens, like something stupid, but I'm going to try to stay as unbiased as possible, if that makes sense. So Georgia's now at the 21. i got to update the yard line. My bad. So it's going to be a run by Stinson Bennett. He even faked out the camera. And touchdown, Georgia. Oh, my. Not the best start there for TCU. He even faked the camera guy out there. And Georgia strikes first. It was a fake handoff, a draw play, and he faked out everyone. As I said, he faked out the cameraman, and he ran to the left, and there was no stopping him, and he flew by everybody. And the extra point is up, and it is good. And that makes the score. Georgia 7, TCU 0. Georgia scores the touchdown on their first drive with the 21-yard run by Simpson Bennett. And we go to a commercial break as Georgia up 7-0 over TCU here in the national championship.
you guys are just now joining the stream, make sure you all leave a like on the stream. We only have seven likes and we have 43 viewers on. Uh, that does not make sense. Everybody, make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. Won't show up on anything. And also, if you guys want to subscribe, I promise you guys, you will enjoy the channel. I upload a ton of really cool videos and do a ton of live streams like this and try to give you guys the best possible content and uh, I think you guys would really enjoy it and if you would like to subscribe it really would mean a lot. And someone just left a like. Thank you to whoever did that. If you're just now tuning in, Georgia just got the touchdown and uh, TC went three and out on the first play by the way. And now, I think it was 23 if I remember right. We're now up to 50 viewers. And it says 46 of you guys are not subscribed. So if all 46 of you that aren't subscribed would hit the subscribe button right now, we would literally not only hit the 8.3K, but we'd hit like 8.5K almost. And we just had two more people leave a like, so thank you to whoever you guys are. Really means a lot. I'll tell you this though, Georgia definitely looks like they are going to try to take some time each of their drives. They're probably going to try to kind of make this game go slow and I say that and they scored in a few minutes just on that play, but I don't know. I think they're going to really try to tire out TCU's defense and just try to make TCU, if they want to win it, keep up with them. Thank you for subscribing, really means a lot. We are one sub away from 8.3K last time I checked. When I check next, I'm going to check in like 30 seconds. Let's be at 8.3. And you know what? Let's be at 8.31. Okay, so here's a replay of that touchdown. Very good blocking there. And like I said, everybody was kind of faked out. Great draw play there. From Bennett. Hey, I will say this. A lot of purple in the stands. So Georgia's set to kick off here to TCU. Oh, there's 1101. Where did I see 1223 at? And how did it get down to 11 that fast? And that is going to be out of the end zone, and TCU is going to start at the 25. So welcome everybody who is just now tuning into the stream. Uh, you've already missed one touchdown. Okay, we are still at 8.29k. That's pretty sad. Oh, we did gain a subscriber though, so I guess... I don't know what's up with that. I guess we're still technically one sub away. So here we go, TCU. First play of the drive, first and ten from the 25. Max Duggan lines up in the shotgun, running back to his side, and he was going to hand it off. He had the draw play, and Georgia read that perfectly and takes him down for a loss of around three yards. Georgia's defensive line just literally just ran through everybody right there. And thank you to the two people who just left a like on the stream. So, Duggan is going to throw the screenplay to the right, and that is going to get around two yards, and that's going to bring up a third down and 12. Oh, God.
So third and long here for TCU. Now Max Duggan given all the time in his pass though over the middle is broken up and that will bring up fourth down and TCU is going to have to punt th two three and outs to start this game. And actually never mind we have a late flag holding on Georgia. I don't know if that was a late flag or just the ESPN broadcast didn't put it up till late. But first down, TCU. Let's see where that was. Oh, yeah, they're... Well, more so just pass it. I don't know. He completely just decked Quinnen Johnson. Huge penalty there, though, and that gives TCU a first down. And now the toss to the running back, and he fumbles it on the outside, and I think Georgia's got it. Great, and they do. Wow, all you had to do was go down. It was a nice kind of play, a reverse play, and the handoff, and he didn't even poke the ball out. He just grabbed his arm, and the TCU guy lost it. And he was running out to the side. It already gained around six yards. And then if he had just went out of bounds there, would have got maybe another yard and then been down, but he lost the ball, and that's going to give Georgia the ball back with good field position. And Georgia is doing a bunch of dance moves on their sideline. So Georgia's going to start at the 34, and it's going to be a reverse handoff, and it's going to go for about six yards. If you all are just now joining the stream and haven't already hit the subscribe button, make sure to do that. So this is going to be a play action. Ben Bennett is going to throw, beautiful throw to the outside for around 15 yards. First down, Georgia, and they are just a few yards away from another touchdown here. So first and 10 now for Georgia at the 13 yard line. It's gonna be a handoff right up the middle and he's gonna get taken down after about two yards. There's a nice play there by the TCU defense and I'll bring up second and eight now. Bennett, no running back. He's going to throw over the middle. Nice defense there by the TCU defensive back. It was thrown right to around the four-yard line on kind of the eight-yard slant play. And the TCU guy knocks it away. Great defense there. And that will bring up a third and eight here. It would be good if TCU can prevent a touchdown here and force a field goal. Third and seven is what it's called right now. So Bennett with one running back, multiple receivers to his left. He's going to look left, throw to the running back, and nice play there by the linebacker. He threw it to the running back. If he had got past that linebacker, it probably would have been a touchdown, but he makes the tackle, and it's going to be fourth down and four. See if Georgia decides to go for this, maybe. It's it's fourth down and four from the seven.
And they are going to kick the field goal. And TCU's defense, after Georgia started in good field position, is going to hold them to a field goal here. 24-yard attempt is up, and it is good. So that makes the score 10 to 0 Georgia, the reigning national champions, up 10 early on here in the national championship. And that's going to take us to a commercial break. So Georgia, good start there with the touchdown, then the fumble, and then the field goal there. As I've said, if you all are just now joining the live stream, it really would mean a lot if you guys could leave a like on the stream and if you guys could hit the subscribe button. We did just gain one subscriber, so thank you to whoever you are. And we also just gained a like, so thank you to whoever you are. And really means a lot. I promise you guys, if you subscribe to the channel, you won't be disappointed. I'll try to give you guys a ton of amazing content. So for anyone just now tuning in, welcome back. We just had a field goal by Georgia to put them up 10 here early on in this game. TCU will have their third drive. Obviously, uh, the first drive was a three and out. And the second drive, they got the first down. And then the fumble, uh, gave, giving Georgia pretty decent field position. They did hold them to the field goal, though. And now TCU will try to put some points on the board here with their third drive. So here we go. Georgia is set to kick off. Both of the first kicks were in the end zone, and this one is going to be the exact same out of the end zone, and TCU will start at the 25. As I've said, make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe button. We are now... Trying to hit 8.31K. TCU is missing their starting running back. And the thing that sucks is their backup running back had a fumble. And the first play is going to be a run up the middle. Going to find a little hole, but then be wrapped up after a gain of around four or five yards. Second down and six now. Thank you to whoever just left a like on the stream, by the way.
So Duggan is back to throw. He's going to look to the right. He's going to throw deep. He's got a guy wide open in the spin move. And he's going to be forced out of bounds at around the 10. He was wide open. TCU fans going crazy. What a play. He was wide open there. And TCU's going to have the ball at the 11, first and 10 now. And TCU's trying to hurry it up still. And they're going to run it up the middle and gain some well-earned yards. And they are going to be down at around the five-yard line. They, oh, they had two guys that went. They, they had a crisscross route. Both of the corners went to follow Quentin Johnson, the star receiver leaving the other guy running down the field wide open. Honestly, it was kind of underthrown, but he was so open he had time to obviously just stop and catch it. But if that wasn't underthrown a little bit, yeah, that would have been a no-doubt touchdown. Him having to slow down and to catch it since it was underthrown a tad caused the corners to be able to catch up to him eventually. But still, I mean... Now I'm just nitpicking, but a good play there. Let's go. And right now we're going to, or we went to a commercial break. I wasn't really paying attention, but I'm pretty sure there was an injury on the field. TCU, that's how they're going to have to beat them. They're going to have to have some big plays. If you guys are just now joining, though, right now we have 28 viewers on, and it says 25 of you guys are not subscribed. So for all 25 of you guys, if you could hit the subscribe button, we could get up to like 8.33K if all you guys subscribed. And if you don't know about my channel, I do a lot of live streams like this, a lot of videos, vlogs, sports videos, challenges. Very cool videos, and I try to upload at least three time a, times a week. I think this week we're planning on uploading in the next, like, eight days, uh, like, seven or eight times. So get ready for that. We already uploaded a video earlier today and then have the live stream today for the national championship. We're going to be uploading Wednesday, I'm pretty sure, uh, uploading Friday. We're going to have a live stream Saturday, have a live stream Sunday, and then uploading, I think, Monday and Tuesday next week as well. Okay, ESPN Plus just froze. This is not the time to freeze. We are in the middle of the national championship game, and TCU was literally getting ready to score. Okay, there we go. Make sure you all, though, are leaving a like as well on the stream. And we've gained actually four subscribers since I last checked, so thank you all very much. Okay, so second and five now here at the six-yard line for TCU. They're going to run it up the middle, and it's going to go for about four yards. A lot of well-earned yards there again, and that's going to bring up a third and one from the Georgia two-yard line. TCU's offense on this drive has looked completely different than the first two. And even before the huge play, obviously, they were gaining some good yards. And Duggan's going to fake the toss, keep it, and he is in for the touchdown. Let's go. 
Touchdown TCU! That was a very nice play right there. Faked the handoff to the running back, and then the running back kind of was the lead blocker, but really didn't have to block anybody, and Duggan kind of just grazed into the end zone. And a huge response there by TCU. And the extra point is up, and it is good. So TCU answers back, and that makes the score. Georgia 10, TCU 7 as we go to a commercial break here with 4.45 left in the first quarter in our national championship game. I hope we just have a close game. We need TCU to get some game-winning, crazy, miracle touchdown, and I get some crazy reaction video. That's what we need. So for anyone just now tuning in, Georgia, or excuse me, TCU just got the touchdown to uh, bring the lead back within three. An amazing drive, obviously the huge play uh, around 60 yards, but with the long pass that set that touchdown up. So for anyone just now tuning in, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button as we are trying to hit 8.31k. We're five subs away, so make sure you all are subscribing. So TCU now set to kick off here to Georgia. And this one is going to be returnable as it is kicked to around the one yard line. And they're going to get out to around the 29 and he'll be brought down. So Georgia will start at around the 29 yard line. Right now we have 20 people on the live stream and it says 16 of you all are not subscribed. So if all 16 of you guys subscribed right now, we would hit 8.32K. So make sure you all are subscribing. I promise you guys will enjoy the channel. So Georgia, uh, first play of the drive, first and 10 here. It's gonna be a pass by Bennett right outside to the receiver. Screenplay is going to go to the inside for around 10 yards. So 
So that's going to be a first down. Now this is going to be a handoff to the running back. He's going to go to the right, and he's going to get around the corner and speed his way before being pushed out of bounds for around another 10 yards. I think that's going to be another first down, so Georgia's offense moving pretty good here. Bennett now, he was looking to throw deep. He's just going to dump it off to the receiver that's far outside, and he's going to get around 10 yards again. That's three straight 10-yard plays that have led to first downs there for Georgia. So another first and ten all the way at the TCU 30. Bennett is going to throw deep, and there's a guy wide open. Touchdown, Georgia. There wasn't a guy within 20 yards of him. So touchdown, Georgia. What a start to this game. TCU's defense has no answer right now for Georgia. And now the extra point is up and it is good. So that makes the score. Georgia 17, TCU 7. TCU is going to get the ball back with a little over two and a half minutes remaining here. And. Uh, I don't know what happened. So he was covering the running back. So the cornerback that was supposed to be covering that receiver was. Post or went up to cover the running back that was kind of going out to the backfield. And he left the guy just run straight up the field. I don't know if he was expecting a safety to be back there. Press your channel. What does that mean? I don't know. But we have the kickoff. A short kick there. TCU is going to start at the 10. They're going to return it, but they're only going to get around an 11-yard return. And they'll start at around their own 21. If you mean get the channel taken down, we can't get taken down for doing a play-by-play. -play. Luckily. Now, if you showed the game or played audio, then yes, you could. But we don't do any of that here. Just me commentating and giving my reaction to the game. And so far, my TCU has had no answer for Georgia. It would have been a lot more interesting if that fumble hadn't happened because TCU was kind of moving before the fumble, and then obviously Georgia got the field goal. I mean, if they score there, it could be 14-14 right now, but we're going to have a run up the middle and he's going to make kind of a move to the left and find a little bit of hole and get around nine yards there. Actually, they're going to rule first down, actually. They're going to give him a first down. So nice run there for TCU. If you're just now tuning in, TCU is missing their starting running back in Miller. But so far, I mean, there's been a lot of good runs. We obviously had the fumble by the running back earlier, but 
That's one play. So this one's going to be another run. A nice move, and now they're just going to try to power their way unsubscribed. What? Also, I'm trying my best to keep up with the game clock. It's actually at 140 right now, but the clock is running, so I just put 130 just to try my best. Okay, it's going to be a play pass outside, kind of an out route for around seven yards, and he's going to get about two extra yards just muscling his way through. And, oh, okay, that makes more sense. I'm just stupid and didn't know what he meant. It depends what live, some, like NBA, I'm always near the top, but NBA live streams seem like what I was originally known for. Like, YouTube was like, okay, this is what he does. Okay, so another first down as TCU is right at midfield now. One minute exactly and counting remaining. Duggan is back to throw. He's going to have all time. He's wanting to throw deep, but then he's going to be taken down by the Georgia defense. He was looking to throw deep, but there was nothing open, I guess, and didn't see the guy coming from the blind side, and he gets taken down. Oh, you can tell he was wanting to go over to the middle, but Georgia had it covered real nicely. And they gave him time, but it was just a matter of time before that huge Georgia defensive line came through, and... Now we have a second and 18 from the 41. It's going to be a screen play out to the running back, and he's only going to get about a yard before being taken down. And that's going to be the last play of the first quarter. So, after one quarter, Georgia is up on my TCU, 17 to 7. TCU will have a third and 17 once we get out of the break, but. Into the first, Georgia up 17 to seven here in the national championship as we go to a commercial break. I haven't been doing too many NBA streams because that's just kind of in the regular season and then we got the playoffs. I'm gonna be doing a ton of NFL live streams for the playoffs. I'm definitely gonna be live streaming for the Vikings game. Um, probably lose, but hopefully not. And obviously we'll be live streaming Saturday for the big fight. And someone just left a like on the stream, so thank you to whoever you are. And someone also subscribed about a minute ago, and I forgot to mention it. But thank you to whoever you are. Wish I could see who the subscribers are. So for anyone just now tuning into the stream right now, we are in between quarters. Uh, TCU will have a third and 17 coming up once we get out of the break. TCU's offense was moving good on that drive, and then the sack is kind of throwing them for a loop.
Okay, so we are about to return from the commercial break. National Championship going on here in SoFi Stadium. It's a low snap. Duggan is going to throw the screenplay, and he's going to get a round 11, or it's not a screenplay, a slant play to the slot receiver. It's going to get a round 11 yards, and it's going to bring up a fourth and around six yard lot, six yard line, six yards from the Georgia 45. For a second, it kind of looked like they were going to go for it. The offense was staying out on the field for a while, but now it looks like they're going to punt. Yeah, they're going to punt. Yes, it's too early for that. And that punt is going to be fair caught by the Georgia returnman at around the six yard line, and Georgia will take over again as they are up 17 to 7, and they will get the ball back. Wait, why is that an exclamation mark? Did I mean to do that? There we go. So here we go. First play from around the seven yard line is going to be a handoff and he's going to kind of slip a little bit but TCU already had that red right and he's going to be taken down for around a gain of one yard. TCU's defensive line has actually been playing solid. They've been stopping the run up the middle. This TCU's pass defense has not been good so far and also Georgia, anytime they run it to the outside, it seems like it's an automatic 10 yards. Okay, so this one is going to be play action. Benson's going to roll out to the right. He's going to throw over top, and it's going to be good for around a 12-yard gain and a first down. Oh, gosh, whoa. So now Bennett is going to throw deep. He's got a guy open on the right side. And he's going to be tackled at around midfield. An amazing throw there by Stinson Bennett. And the Georgia offense is just moving right now Brock Bowers already is 78 yard 78 receiving yards now the handoff up the middle good defense there by TCU and he's gonna lose about a yard as he tried to make a cut to the right if you guys haven't already make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe button So Bennett's going to be back to throw. He's going to throw to the right, and the pass is going to be a tad overthrown. And good defense there, no matter if the pass is overthrown or not by a TCU, which is good to see. It was one-on-one -on -one coverage, and it was just overthrown a little bit. He was trying to get the head top catch, but it was over his extended arms and out of bounds. So third and 10 now here, or third and 11, excuse me, 
here as Georgia is at the 46. I have a feeling if they don't get it here, they may go for it. Five seconds on the play clock. It's going to be kind of a low snap. TCU is going to send a blitz. Bennett's going to roll out to the right. He's going to run, and he's going to get the first down as he dives forward. If you're TCU, you've got to make that stop. They sent a blitz and covered all the receivers, and Bennett rolled out to the right and used his speed to get around, and before anybody could come up, he dove for the first down. So Georgia now at the 33-yard line of TCU. And they're going to run it up the middle, and TCU is going to have that red, and it's going to be a loss of around two yards. You guys are just now joining the stream make sure you guys hit the subscribe button we're now at three subs away as it's going to be a play action pass Bennett's going to dump it to the running back who's got room to run and he's going to be forced out of bounds right around the first down marker Okay, they did rule it third and one, but the running back's going to make a move, go left, and then cut up the middle for around a gain of three yards, and that will be enough for a first down. And Georgia is now in the red zone again. Okay, so first and ten now. It's going to be a handoff to the running back. He's going to run to the right. He's going to get around the corner, and he's going to get around another ten yards. Like I said earlier, anytime they run to the outside, it's going for around ten yards every time. And that's going to be first and goal, I believe. First and goal from the seven now here for Georgia. Bennett's just going to take it himself, and he's going to stroll right into the end zone on the left. Touchdown, Georgia. This is not what I was wanting to see, but kind of what I was expecting. Extra point is good, and Georgia, with 8.30 left in the second quarter, takes a 24-7 lead. TCU has had no answer for Stenson Bennett in this Georgia offense. TCU will get the ball back as we go to a commercial break.
if you guys are just now joining the stream, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and make sure you guys leave a like on the stream. Okay, so we're about to get back underway as George is now up 17 here. We still have 8 minutes and 30 seconds to go here in the first half. George is set to kick off. If you guys are just now joining the stream, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button as I'm slowly getting more and more sad because this is kind of expected and we are getting killed. So the kick is going to be returned from about the five yard line and George is going to have it wrapped up and they're only going to get out to around the 19 yard line and TCU will start back with the ball. to another commercial break. A lot of commercials. I guess it's a championship game, so that makes sense. Okay, so we are up to around 24 people watching the live stream. It says 22 of you guys are not subscribed. If we could get all 22 of you guys to hit the subscribe button, it really would mean a lot. Okay, so we are about to get underway here as TCU will start their drive first and 10 from their own 19 yard line, or 20 I guess. 
So Max Duggan lined up in shotgun with no running back. You're on first and ten. Low snap, kind of. Duggan is looking to his left. He's just going to run, and George is going to take him down for only a gain of a yard. Nothing was there, and he was kind of forced to run up the middle, and he had a tad bit of a hole, but Georgia got to it quickly, and that will bring up second and eight now. And they're going to hand it off to the running back. He's going to make a nice cut to the uh, left as he was running originally to the right. And, oh, but we do have a flag. That was it right at around the first down marker. We'll see what the flag is. And it's going to be a holding on TCU. Bad penalty there. So that's now going to set TCU, TCU up with a second and 15 now. It's going to be a fake handoff. He's going to throw it to the outside on the out route for around seven, eight yards. And that's going to bring up a third down and seven here for TCU. Here we go, TCU now third and seven. Duggan is going to look deep, and it's intercepted. It's going to be overthrown, and that was basically a punt almost. He was looking for Quinnen Johnson, and it's going to be intercepted and lost yards on the return because the guy tackled him back. But... Not a good, uh, this is bad, this is ugly, this is disgusting. He had him open, honestly. He just overthrew it. And that's going to give the Georgia, Georgia the ball back. The second turnover there for TCU. And Georgia's gonna start at the 34 of their of them. They're going to run it to the outside and get another 10 yards. Literally I said that and it's happening every time. Anytime they run to the outside, it's 10 yards exactly. Every play has been that. Okay, so first and ten here for Georgia. It's going to be a run. He's going to cut right, cut right again, and get around eight yards there. So second and one now. And TCU is going to make a nice stop there. 
and it's going to be probably a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up third down and a round two. I, they may rule third and one, but I'm going to say third and two for now. Yeah. At TCU's 47, it's going to be a screen play. And he is going to get tripped up, but it is going to be enough for a first down by about a yard. So now Bennett lined up in shotgun here. He's going to hand it off to the running back who's just going to fly up the middle and be tripped up, but he was going so fast. Him getting tripped up kind of spun him around all the way to the... Uh, they're actually going to rule the first down. Oh, my God. So first and 10 for Georgia now at the 31 of TCU. Georgia knocking on the door again, and he's going to break a tackle and then get wrapped up for around six yards. We do have a flag, though. If you're TCU, the dream scenario is make a stop here. now, And that is going to be a holding on Georgia. Make a stop and then somehow try to get some points. Remember, Georgia gets the ball to start. So Georgia's going to run it, make a few moves, and he's going to get around four yards on first and 20. You guys are just now joining the stream. Make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe button and leaving a like for my sadness as my TCU Horned Frogs are getting dismantled right now in front of our eyes. So, second and 15 from the TCU 41 here. Bennett's going to be back to throw. He's going to throw deep to the right. And did he catch it? No, they're going to say he was out of bounds. That was a beautiful throw by Bennett. I mean, you, that I was thinking at first that was be an interception and he was out of bounds. And really, he probably could have got his foot in. And they would have been, if he had got his foot in, he would have been down at the one yard line where he was shoved out of bounds. And I'll bring up third and 15 here. If you're TCU, you gotta make a stop. Gotta make a stop. And I have a feeling no matter what Georgia gets, they're gonna go for it. So you kinda need two stops here, but here we go. TCU's going to rush three, and it's going to be thrown over the middle right in between defenders, and it's and he's going to muscle his way for more yards, and first down Georgia, and they are now at around the 13-yard line. He threw it right at the first down marker and then got around another five yards as he pushed the pile, and what a throw by Bennett. Georgia is going to use their first timeout as the play clock is running down. It's a timeout Georgia as they are just 13 yards away from adding to their 24-7 lead. 
141 left here in the first half of the national championship. Make sure you guys are leaving a like and subscribing if you haven't already. We're trying to get to 8.31k. Why is the stream buffering? So here we go, 141 remaining. Georgia is going to run it to the outside and get around seven yards. And that'll bring up around second down and three. Bennett lined up at the five yard line. They're going to give it to the running back. He's going to lean forward and he's going to get the first down and they're going to be at the one yard line here. First and goal. And TCU is going to use their first timeout, actually. I guess maybe trying to get some time to do something.
Remember, if you guys are just now joining the stream, make sure you guys uh, hit the subscribe button for my sadness. These are some long commercial breaks. Okay, so here we go out of the commercial break. Georgia first and goal from the one yard line. It's going to be a handoff to the running back, and he is in for the touchdown. Georgia is extending the lead even more, and this has turned into a blowout as TCU has no answer for Georgia's offense. Extra point is good, and that will make the score 31 to 7. Georgia is just giving it to TCU, and Now, TCU did use two timeouts. I guess they're trying to at least have time to try to do something. Okay, so George is going to kick off. TC is going to try to return it from their end zone. And he's going to get around a few corners and then be forced out of bounds at the 20. A lot of running for a return to just get out to the 20. 
see what TCU tries to do here. Oh gosh. Worst thing is I kind of expected this. This doesn't surprise me one bit. Wish it wasn't going like this, but TCU's gonna start at the 20 here with 112 remaining here in the first half. Remember, Georgia starts with the ball. Duggan is just going to dump it off to the running back, and he's going to get around two yards. Second and eight now. Georgia is going to send a blitz, and Max Duggan is going to be taken down. Thank you to whoever just left a like on the stream, by the way. So third and 18 now for TCU. And now Georgia's using some of their timeouts. There's 40 seconds left, and they'd have good field position if they stopped TCU here. Third and 18 with 40 seconds left. Duggan is going to throw and it's going to be intercepted. This has gotten uglier than ugly can even be described. As George is going to have 36 seconds left, and they're going to have the ball at around the 20 yard line. So Georgia back with the ball. They're going to throw to the end zone. First play, good defense there by TCU as he threw right to uh, the end zone, right up the middle. But the TCU defensive back knocked it away. You can't let up a touchdown here if you're TCU, even though I know for a fact TCU ain't going to come back. If they somehow got another touchdown, you might as well cancel the game. You might as well see if Alabama wants to finish the second half. Bennett's going to throw to the end zone again, and it's a touchdown. What a throw as he threw to the right. I had a feeling it was going to be bad, but even I wasn't expecting this bad. Oh my gosh. What a throw and what a catch.
as the extra point is good, and the lead is 31 before halftime. Guys, if you're watching and haven't subscribed for my sadness, please do so. So TCU is going to try to return it, and it's going to be returned to around the 26-yard line with 20 seconds remaining. I'm sure TCU is just going to kneel this down and get this monstrosity of a half over. And one guy went down for the Georgia earlier, and there's another guy now down on the field. Okay, so TCU, they're just going to run it up the middle, get around six to seven yards, and I'm sure they're just going to let this go to halftime. Actually, no, they are going to try to run another play. Why not? <laughs> Why not? They're going to run it again, and it's going to go nowhere, and that will take us to halftime. So... I was expecting it to be bad. I don't know if I was expecting it to be this bad, but that takes us to halftime. Georgia up 38 to seven in the national championship, going to the half, and they will start with the ball as well. I'm telling you this, if even though I know for a fact it ain't happening, and if TCU somehow comes back, I will, I will. But it ain't gonna happen. They're showing the teams going to the locker room. TCU just looks stunned.
So, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button for my sadness. I don't even know what to talk about at halftime. Well, I am going to go to the restroom real fast. I'll be back in a little bit. And, um, yeah. oh gosh, and the phone fell. So, I'll be back in a little bit.
Okay, I've returned, and I'm sure George has probably scored three touchdowns at halftime, probably. Gosh, it is cold in here. When did it get so cold? Am I losing it?
So for anyone just now joining the stream right now, we are in halftime of the national championship as Georgia is absolutely dismantling TCU. And Georgia will be starting with the ball as they're up 38 to 7. Okay, so, um, okay, so we're about to start the second half. I've just been watching TikTok, um, just letting halftime go by. This TC is going to kick off to Georgia. And uh, Georgia will get ready to start uh, another beatdown of a half. So, here we go. Second half is underway. TCU kicks off, and it's going to be kicked out of the end zone, and Georgia will start at the 25. See if TCU's defense even has any answer for Georgia on. Okay, so first and ten. 
from Georgia. It's going to be handed off, ran right up the middle, a nice cut, and then is going to be taken down for a round of gain of six. Okay, it's going to be another handoff. He's going to run right, and he's going to be taken down at the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up a third down in four. If you guys are just now tuning in, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button for my sadness, and also because we are only two subs away from 8.31K. Third and three here for Georgia. Oops, oops, oops. No running back for Bennett. He's going to throw the slam pass and nice defense by the corner there for TCU as he knocked it away. And that will be fourth down, and Georgia's going to punt for the first time tonight. Knowing TCU, they are probably going to like somehow fumble like the the punt return or something. So Georgia with a nice punt, and it's just going to roll. And we do have a flag. It's going to roll out of bounds right at the 20. Pretty nice punt, and let's see what the flag is. It doesn't seem to be anything that would somehow give Georgia the ball because TCU's offense is running onto the field. refs are discussing it. They made us feel bad for TCU, so they're going to give him some extra yards. I don't know. Okay, holding on TCU. Will be TCU ball, though. So TCU's keys to the second half. Emphasize on mistakes. Stop playing scared. I would more say the keys to the second half, do something on defense. Honestly, I mean, the offense didn't look great. We had the interception. There was the fumble. TCU's offense hasn't looked awful. Just their defense has been absolutely atrocious. They did have three turnovers, obviously, and that led to 21 points, I'm pretty sure, for Georgia. So, first play as TCU starts at the 10 is going to be a run up the middle, and it's going to go nowhere. So, second and 10 coming up here. Duggan's going to be back to throw. He's going to throw outside on the out route for around five yards, and that will bring up a third and five here for TCU at the 15. And they're too deep in Georgia territory to even possibly go for it. I think anything like past their own 40 they're going to be going for for the rest of the night, but here at the 15, they're one for five on third down so far. And they're going to throw a slant pass, and it's going to be through the hands of Quinn and Johnson. And that's going to bring up fourth down. Uh, 
And I'm not saying it's biasly. That definitely did kind of look like pass interference, but who cares? Short punt. It's going to be fair caught at around the 45. And Georgia will take over again with 12-14 left here in the third quarter. TCU's defense finally got a stop, and then they proceed to go three and out. So for all you guys that are just now joining the stream, make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe button as we are trying to get to 8.31k before the end of the stream. So make sure you all hit the subscribe button. So for any of you all that are just now joining the stream, uh, right now we are in a commercial break. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and do all that fun stuff. Okay, so Georgia starts at their own 45-yard line here. 12-14 to go in the third quarter. Here we go, play action pass, dumped off to the tight end. And he's going to have room to run. And he's going to get all the way to the 25 of TCU. Good blocking there. Now the handoff, it's going to be up the middle, make a nice move, and then be tripped up at around the 22-yard line or so. Bennett now is going to throw over the middle. Was a tad behind him, but definitely should have been caught. But it was dropped by the running back, and that will bring up third down and five.
So third and five from the 22 here for Georgia. He's going to throw for the end zone, and it is caught. What a catch. Oh, my God. What a catch. Turned around, kind of reached over the corner, and TCU has no way. I mean, TCU literally cannot stop Georgia. They're, I mean, no team's really been able to stop Georgia this year, but TCU definitely can't. extra point is good and the lead is uh, too high for me to even count honestly Georgia up 45 to 7 here in the national championship and what has turned into just an abomination of a game here for TCU how are we going down in views what the heck? We definitely went down. We were higher in views than that. In 1200. Okay, what if I go here? Hmm. Lost views on the stream. I don't know how that's possible. And look, we're losing views as I talk. What the heck? What the heck? Views are just literally dropping. Look at this. What is going on? What is going on? We're dropping like hundreds of views a second on the stream, and now it says we're down to 1,100 views on the stream. Something is glitched out. Look at this. I don't know if you can see this. Look, we're at 1,503 views in the last 48 hours. 1,479. 1,469. What's going on? 461. And it's this live stream. The live stream was at 1,600 views. What is going on? What the heck? Is it just going to drop all the way to zero? Something is glitched out or something. Okay, now it stopped going down. Nope, now it went down another one. Now another four. What is wrong with this thing? We're now under a thousand views on the live stream. What is going on? Just to add to TCU getting killed right now, the live stream is like broken. Still going down. What the heck? I don't know, but let's not worry about that. Something's glitched out. TCU's going to return it, and a nice return out to about the 32. We're now under a thousand views on the live stream, but there's a flag. Great. I have never seen this. Holding on TCU. Oh man. What 
else could go wrong? I'm just so confused how we're dropping in views. On a live stream, we're down to 900 views. Is it going to go down to zero? It's under 900. What's going on? I don't know what's happening. We've somehow lost a thousand views on the stream. It's going to be a run outside here on first and ten, and and it's going to get around seven yards there for TCU. It just went down again. Is it eight hundred? Is this being caught on live stream? Okay, it's going to be a play action pass. Oh gosh, George is going to blitz. Duggan though gets around it and he's going to scramble and go out of bounds right at the first down marker. Looks like he got it. Is it still going down? What is wrong with this thing? We've somehow lost a thousand views on the live stream. Not a thousand, but about 800. It was 1600 earlier. What the heck? Okay, so Duggan's back to pass. He's going to throw over the middle, and it's going to be caught right at the first down marker for around another 10 yard gain. I know you can't see view or, or how many total views we have on a stream from your guys' end, but. We literally just dropped about a thousand views. How is that possible? Like, and it's weird because it didn't just drop at one time, it just started like going down and down and down. TCU's taking a lot of time for being down as much as they are. Duggan's gonna throw out side for around another five yard gain. They'll bring up second and five. That was weird. I wonder if we're gonna get those views back. Did we just lose a thousand views? I hope not. We don't lose the money from that too. My God. Second and four now for TCU here from their own 46. Duggan is back to throw. He's going to have to scramble, just throw it away, and it'll bring up third and four with 8.16 left. I know I have that. Wait, we're dropping in views again. We're down, down to 700. Where it says total views on the live stream, it literally was at around 1,800. And then slowly just has dropped and dropped and dropped, and we're now at 741 views on the live stream. How's that possible? We better be getting those back, YouTube, or I'm going to be upset. Okay, third and five. Duggan slips, and then is going to be hit hard. Oh, my gosh. And that's going to bring up fourth down. You got. I know you're in Georgia territory, but go for it. Are they not even going for it? TCU's throwing the white flag. Why are we punting? We're still dropping in views. Should I just end the stream? Something is broken with it. And TCU punts it. George is going to call a fair catch at the 15. We are still dropping in views. What is wrong with this thing? Eventually it's going to be at zero views, I mean.
And now it's still dropping. I mean, what's it gonna do? Go to negative views? I just, I'm so confused. How are we, how are we losing views? That doesn't make sense. We're down, down to 667 views. get those views back or I'm going to be upset. We're now down to 680. That makes no sense. I just don't get how we lost a thousand views on a live stream. You know what's funny? Is I looked at it and it said 1400 and I was like, wait a second, weren't we just at 1600? And I was like, maybe I just read wrong. And then I noticed we were at 1200 and then I realized it was just dropping on. I don't know if that's a glitch on YouTube's part. I don't know if will we get those views back. I hope we do. Okay, so George is going to start at the 16 here. It's actually 7.34 remaining. They're just going to run it to the outside, and he's going to break a tackle and gain around 12 yards before being forced out of bounds. I don't even want to stream this anymore. Thank you, dude. I just left a like. Because one, the stream's glitching out, and two, my team's getting absolutely destroyed. Even though I expected it, I mean, I don't know if I was expecting it this bad. First and ten now. Why is the clock running? He went out of bounds. It's going to be a reverse toss. He's got all running room in the world. Then another 13 yards before TCU brings him down. Oh no, we're dropping in views again. How do you drop in views? I just, it doesn't make sense. Okay, first and 10 now for Georgia. Bennett is back to pass. He's gonna throw deep. He's got, oh, the guy dropped it, thank God. It, he, that was a drop, but if he had caught it, they would have been at around the 15-yard line. He was open, too, pretty much. He got hit from behind trying to be tackled, and he lost control of the ball.
Okay, so there was a completion there that would be good for first down, but we have a flag. Oh, well, the flag was on TC who got declined. Georgia now is going to run up the middle, and they're going to get about two yards, and it will be second and eight from the TCU 40. So third and eight now for Georgia. Make sure the, the V's haven't dropped anymore, have they? No? Okay. And Bennett is going to throw down the middle, wide open. I don't know what TCU's defense is doing, and Georgia is in the red zone again. If we'll get the views back though. First and ten for Georgia, they're gonna run it up the middle. TCU is going to take them down for a loss of one. Okay.
I wasn't even paying attention. I don't know what happened. Georgia could have scored for all I know. Right now we're in a commercial break, so. Did Georgia get another touchdown? I think they did, and I wasn't even paying attention. They've got so many. Who knows? Yep. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to keep streaming too much longer. One, we've had a ton of problems with this. TCU is going to return it out to around the 30-yard line. Okay, so first play is going to be a run for TCU, and he's going to get wrapped up immediately for about a yard. If you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Oh my gosh, Georgia's backup is warming up. Duggan almost wrapped up, but he's going to escape looking for somewhere to throw. He's going to throw across field, and it's overthrown for the intended target. So it's going to be thrown, and a nice move there by the receiver, and that's going to be a first down, and TCU's into Georgia territory. That's going to be a run up the middle, get around two yards. So second and eight. Duggan is going to roll out right, and he's just going to run for it, and he's going to be out of bounds right at the line of scrimmage. End of the third quarter.
Wanted to wait for this TCU drive, and then after this, I probably will end the live stream so I can get back home. And because maybe if I end the stream, the views will stop going down. I can't believe that. We somehow lost over a thousand views. I don't think that's. We better get those back. Okay, so TCU here on third and nine. They're just going to dump it off to the running back. What was that? And that will bring up fourth and ten. I forgot to even change this. Oops. So obviously TCU going for it, 4th and 11 from the Georgia 46, need to get to the 35 here. Duggan's just going to sling it and incomplete and Georgia's going to take over. I think that's where we end the live stream. Um, thank you all for tuning out, obviously the game did not go the way I wanted it to. But thank you all for tuning out. We did have around 1,700 views on the stream. Now we're somehow at 566 and still dropping. And thank you to everyone who subscribed. A uh, new video coming out soon. And, um, yeah, hopefully we get the views back that disappeared. But thank you all for tuning out. And I will see you guys soon. Like and subscribe. See ya.